cobble together for greatness. Ah, the great two women of thievery. Tess? Yeah, I think we go Tess. Why you ask? Bed. Who are you? Um, yeah, I think we go Tess. Simple. First time I got to pick this card. Two ladies in your life? No, no, I have a third one. The actual real one? Level one DK, you lost to a final boss rogue, got Seraphine. Well, you might want to get better at some things in life. Let's go Scorpies. Well, I don't even know between these two. I am unsure. Rogalicious, that's the name. I don't know though. I won't really, I won't. This or this? I actually kind of, like, I want the water cannon more than I want this. Even though, yeah, Vile Apothecary, blah blah. Blah 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 blah. Well, crap. We got the water cannon. Most people pick cannon? I actually think most people pick the other thing. Because everyone loves concoctions, or they thought, they think it's good still, but it's not that good. Insta punish. I mean, it's not a giant. It's not really that big of a punish. I just don't even think. I don't think I want to take a second one. Howdy. Howdy. How did you get in here and type howdy? Not type howdy, but redeem the howdy in such amount of times. Uh, Dose. That's why you were saying that, Roldy. I didn't understand why you were saying he would be jealous. Thanks for the raid, Dose. Can I do this correctly? Yes. You guys gave it a great time. We picked Rogue, we picked Tess, and it's time to go. Doe said to be mean. Hmm. I don't think I've ever heard him say the word mean in his life. Okay. <laughs> uh, dredging up my Tess seems good. Chat shows DH and you got 12. Done. Never revisit us. I hope I never have to do that any ever. I might have to, maybe at the end of the meta. Nope. Plagiarize. <laughs> Good evening, dips. Uh, chances are, did you get an exciting DH at least? Anything interesting? Um, I might just take clergy. I don't know. Like, am I going excavate? I don't think I will. Yeah, healing is nice to have in Rogue. I don't know. Let's do this. Curve with RBO. Well, at least you got done with it. Simple. You know what I found out today? It's not necessarily always true. I mean, it's, this isn't exactly Demon Hunter, but something similar. Blind Box... If you get Blind Box from Demon Hunter in a different class, you might actually want to take random demons. Not for sure, but it's an interesting topic. Of conversation because if you do random you can get it from other classes but if you discover then it's from your class that was an interesting one that came up i was playing priest i think which you got 12 and 0 no oh, that's too bad i don't think i have 12 and 0 with demon hunter either yeah you did that in rogue hmm thank you elf uh we're taking this simple And thank you for the follow too. Okay, probably. Wow, probably eviscerate. Tram mechanics quite good too, though. I'm for Tess. I'm gonna try. We already got this thing, Twisted Pack, which is kind of cool. I don't know about this. Like eviscerate is very good, but one drop, good for combos, and you still get some damage out of it with the toxic, uh, whatever it's called, the barrel. Call me crazy. I know most people like picking Eviscerate. I'm going to take the trim. Tooth. 
Test cards? We got a, we got Tooth. Plagiarizer. We'll discover stuff from this. You're crazy? Thank you. Uh, wow. That's a second Vanish? I mean, now we could take the Eviscerate. Twisted Pack and Quest. Yeah, that's a cool little combo. And you can get it done on turn one if you have coin. Um, here though, I'm not gonna take Panda, even though it could get me test cards. I think I'm gonna go Eviscerate, but man, Dark Iron Skulker is also really good. Test cards? Bones? Oh, come on. Ah, we should probably take the frog. You're a shaman abuser? Um, wait, does that mean you abuse shamans? Isn't that good though? I think we gotta go frog. Frog is a little too good. Hmm. There's like, we're not gonna do excavate, right? Like I'm 17 cards in. Got the bands in my sight, yes. <laughs> Just take blood. Third vanish. Nice. No one will ever convince me to pick this card. No matter how many times they say, Oh my god, but I got it to 17 damage and I won. No, I guess we'll take a bunny. Keep your weapon poisonous. I wonder if they'll ever make a rogue weapon that's worth putting this on. Like, if only you put it on the water cannon and then it made the one ones have poisonous or something. Easy Ben. What's up, Elma? Uh, we got doubles, right? Swashing, Toothies. Twisted Pack's a little weird. You don't really exactly want to do that, but... Cutlass with and Venom? Yeah, pickable, but... Man, like... You don't want to take double damage from big guys. Yeah, better than a lot of other cards for sure. Wasn't Venom bad when it was... Re I remember Venom being pretty decent, actually, Fade. Maybe I'm misremembering. I remember it being decent. Because... Killing two minions like that was such a big deal back then, but maybe not. Okay, I don't really want this. I like to just keep it nice and lean. If we're doing tests, especially. I don't know. I'm gonna take this. Yeah, that's what I thought, though. So that's what I remember when it came out. Dronies. Speaking of. Okay. What am I gonna peddler? There's no way, like... I guess technically... If you play Twisted Pack, you can reduce everything by, what? 10 mana? Assuming you would still be able to play all of the cards afterwards. Yeah, Assassinate was good back then. It wasn't Assassinate 5 mana also. I believe it was. Hey, Dealey. Okay. Took zero Excavates. I mean, we have Double Tooth, maybe Twisted Pack, usually not. Swash. Maybe we take this. I don't know, I just don't... This is Excuse just not me. happening. You are on fire. Am I crazy? Maybe. Potions, thank you. Corpid. We need to find, um... Hey, Soul Compressor. We need to find cards from other classes somehow with this shell game and stuff. Bunny? Nah, Bunny's not. I already took a Bunny. I don't think it's that great. You can pretend to be Side of Viola. Where did I get all the Hearthstone card sounds? You can look it up. There's a website called, I think it's called, like... Hearthstone SFX or something uh, that has like all the sounds you can get it from. We back? We are back, Blaze. Uh, I kind of just got to take Water Cannon. Like, this card's bad. I should make a Nunchucks? But what does that have to do with me? I don't do Nunchucks. Okay, I don't know. It could be I should take that. We only have one weapon though, right? Whilst blowing horn. Wow, how do I do that? Did I stop streaming? I did stop a tiny bit, Blaze. I had to hang out with the wife a bit. Otherwise, well, bad things happen. Here we go. 
always do with one hand or do they sometimes do two? No way they do with two. Forced to hang out? No, not forced to hang out. But it's also, even just a little break from a stream, at least for me, is good. I'm gonna keep this too. Can I spin them randomly thinking I look cool? I think I probably did the same thing. But yeah, I find even if you take a little break from something like streaming, like, I don't know, an hour, you can come back with a lot more energy. Guys, you think I'm crazy? I've been drinking iced coffee and I came up with the idea that, well, basically the ice cubes are always watering down the coffee. So I'm just going to make ice cubes out of coffee. Is that smart or stupid? Ice coffee, well, basically coffee with ice cubes. Do we dagger? We dagger, they dagger. We all dagger. Hold on. I'm getting inspiration. You would have picked triple sevens instead of Scorpion? Yeah, you could. I think usually I'm not extremely happy to have triple sevens nowadays. Okay, okay, one second, one second, what are we doing? You know what, I could just dagger. If they dagger, then we'll just move the whole... The whole game will just move one turn ahead. And whatever. If they don't dagger, well then whatever. They play a two drop, I'll kill it. Do these two. Could also refrigerate it. Yeah, but then I have to like make it in advance. Yeah, I mean, the main downside of this play was that we're now playing a little off curve, but that's probably okay. That is terrible. I mean, I'm kind of doing like a tempo potion here, so I don't know if we want to go for card draw. Even though the thing is, the deck doesn't actually have much card draw or almost any in it. So maybe we take one card draw. Let's do one card draw. And a summon. Could do deal damage instead. I'll do a summon. They'll end up very watered down in taste though, and the longer they stay in the freezer, the more the flavor. Oh yeah? Okay, I'll try it out and see. Yeah, that's what I've been doing. Just add an extra spoon. What are we doing? Uh, so this is the downside of this. We could have, like, if I took damage, we could have done that. A quick nip. I could have done just Feldore, but I think we want to discover something here, especially for the Peddler. Hmm. Man, Crystal Cluster's, like, Way off. Like, I'm not going to be playing that till way later. In general, it is the best card, though. We can try and risk it. Hopefully, I'll have other stuff to do. Make a double brew? Yeah. Coffee with ice cubes is good, just needs strong coffee so it doesn't get watered down. Wait, wait, what am I missing? You're saying it's getting watered down. Need strong coffee so it doesn't get watered down. What's getting watered down, though? I don't... What I'm When I say coffee ice cubes, I'm not going to melt the ice cubes. I would make coffee and then put those ice cubes in the coffee. Cluster on six. I mean, if we had something we were going towards... Yeah, 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 maybe. Did you also misunderstand those? Because I totally understand that. It would be way too watered down if you just put the ice cubes in. Okay. Um, you want to know how it turns out? Yeah, I'll try it. Should I or Let's just do this. Something Make the coffee stronger? Yeah, I might just do that as well. 
The freezer reduces the coffee flavor and over time it also evaporates. Yeah, yeah, so that's what I was gonna do and put it in. Yeah, see, like now we could do crystal cluster, but what are we. What are we trying to get to? So I cluster, we get three mana crystals all the way up to nine. I mean, with the card draw, maybe. I just feel like if I wait with the cluster, it'll be so much better later. I don't think, like, the extra mana here is that important. Nah, I think we just do Skulker in this. Oh. I mean, I love this card. I don't care what you guys say, we're picking this. Also, actually, I do care, and we're still picking it. Because this will get me, what, three extra cards for Tess? What are we doing? I mean, what are we doing now, though? Extra mana gets you ahead? Yeah, but also a three, like a bunch of three sevens will just get me back whatever tempo I didn't gain by going up. I'm not sure about this. Like, I don't exactly want to just re-dagger. This, this, like, doesn't feel the greatest. We could do this and shoot that. You know what? I, uh, I should have played this, actually. Right? I should have played this because this one is, um... Combo. The only reason to play the other one is to get it in the test faster, but whatever. Could be fine though, I think we're always gonna have the... Uh, uh by the way, what is that? Yeah, if I knew I was getting this, I would love to get my mana up. Okay. We could dagger and then do skulker, but it doesn't seem worth. I think it's better to just skulker and play this. Or skulker and play this, but we could always do the healing later. What should I order? The one reason to do the dagger instead is this guy. Which is not a terrible reason. Then I could do 5 and 3 next turn. But get this outcast? I think I'm just gonna give up on it. I might- you know what, let's do this. Because then we just have the dagger ready for this guy. Plus... Eliminate any shenanigans with, uh, mechs and magnetize. This is just- this is not gonna be outcast, people. Like... Not until I get all the way to the left, probably. Yeah, the crystal on 10 is going to be, like, insane. I remember the days when I used to have to ask chat, what's inside of my tests? Now I just look. Hmm. Hmm. Now I'm not so happy about taking the card draw. You, soon. you mean a new stats page? Where? I did not see. Yeah, yeah, the 4 damage is not very good. In uh, tests. You know what is good though? Winning. Winning and opponents conceding. Arena, my stats? Okay, I'll check that in a sec. Sing along, you know the word. Wait, what? Sing along, you know the word. A quick nip. Our enemies total playtime? But that's total playtime since I started using Firestone though, right? Or is that... There's no way it's all time. 
Yeah, I could have replayed Plagiarizer and just did it a bunch of times. Yeah, Firestorm bait. Let me check that out. Arena? My stats. My stats are terrible because I had so many disconnects, so... It doesn't even remember all the runs. You guys think this is the most creepy guy, or is there somebody else that takes the cake? I mean, maybe the tree is creepier. Okay. Hold on a second. Yeah, I disconnected like five different runs, actually. This, <laughs> Unfortunately. Okay. What are we doing? Druid. I feel like I'm either tossing everything or just keeping this. But... Let's toss it over. I definitely don't want to keep Tooth. It's too situational. Your game time is scary? What is it? Three days, 72 hours. I think that's more. In, oh, that's in game. Oh, in game. I mean, I guess I tooth this. If I play Beetle. They still get, I'll just tooth while I can. I know there could be better targets. Hundreds of hours? How does that make you feel? So aquatic form is not very good with pests, uh, but... Sad? At least it's for a good reason. Imagine if it was just you playing by yourself. Maybe that would be sad. Okay, I'm not sure about this. Like. This will usually not be doing the thing. I'm gonna go Aquatic Form. The other one draws you two cards, but this is... This could find me, like, very specific things we want. Five hundred eighteen. Ah, uh, yes. Forty a week. Did you ever calculate how much you, hours you do a week? You stream what, like eight hours every day? For six days? 48 hours or so? Yeah, and then the draft time too. What's your average draft time, you know? Like just from... Editing your YouTubes? I think mine is like... 10 minutes, maybe? Probably like somewhere around 10 minutes for a draft. Maybe a little bit less even. Nine? Yeah, yeah, maybe, yeah, somewhere between eight to 10. To compromise. I don't think we do potion here. Eight to 12, but it used to be more like five to six. Ooh. I, f I think we go dubious purchase, even though we have the test for the shell game. I could be wrong, though. It's like partially our deck is not that great. So I don't even know All if I want to draw into it. But it has an assassinate attached, or not an assassinate, a deadly shot attached to it. Why not sap? I don't think Sap is that great, but especially versus a class like Druid, they don't play one. That scared you? Yeah, it's one of the loudest things in the game. 
Loud. Yeah, my wife got scared. <laughs> I would much rather have... It's not exactly sap, but something similar-ish to sap. And you get to draw a bunch of cards. Versus... What am, what am I even sapping as a druid? Like, versus druid. This would be probably the best target. I didn't know they were going to play it. Um... Hold on. I'm getting inspiration. I, let's do hazy. Am I crazy? Maybe. Oh, hello. Hello, Tess. Because I could do... I could have went for Deadly Shot and developed a little more there, but... Well, I think Dubious Purchase is going to get worse, probably. And I want to get those cards out of there. Who here can spell Zinjari? Okay. Anybody? That card would double choose? Oh yeah, you know what's, well, you know what's more of a crime dose? You probably haven't seen it in a while. I did it like a couple of days ago. Double choose one with, um, I always, sometimes I forget the name of the card and I just think of drumming on your mother's cheeks, but it's uh, from Elmo, whatever. Um, what is it called? Drum circle. That's insane. Right? Just five, four, sixes and every other minion also gets plus two, plus four. In the meantime. Legendary spell? Which legendary yeah. spell? Okay, we're probably skulking, but may as well just do this thing. Drumming on, yes. Oh, the sound. Oh. <laughs> yes. Uh, we can hazy. Like, we gotta just get some stuff in there already. Let's haze him. If your deck started with no duplicates. My deck has duplicates, right? I don't even remember. Doesn't matter. Uh, are we munching a bunch of stuff here? I don't, like, I don't need to do it this turn. I have double water can? Oh yeah, I have double water can. I'm just not sure if we do this or not. Nah. What works in the also because I'm trading this minion off, right? So then they change the cards? I mean, I partially like it. It's a no- I, I almost do like it, FN, actually. Yeah, it sucks for me now, but I don't want to lose a game to randomly generated uh, Rhea, you know? Like, I, I got Lady Prestworthy, like, today, actually, right? I got Rhea. I was already winning, but if that Rhea was active, it would just be so stupid. So, I don't know. I'm kind of fine with the change. Just makes discovering them not as OP. I mean, probably just blood in the water. Plus, recon. We gotta dump this hand slowly. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Slow it, slow it. Uh, slow down a second. I mean, surely I just take Rattle Gore. Rattle Gore is Dr. Stitch and Sue, but, uh, better. What should I order? I mean, even if he silences the Rattle Gore, we just get it back with Tess. You know what I was faced with, Dose? I would be curious. I think I know what you're gonna say, but... Off of Recon, Dr. Stitch and Sue, or, uh, Clay Matriarch. I mean, I think I know exactly what you're going to say, but it was just funny to me to see the two cards and then be like, one is legendary, one is, you think game's bad? I think I'm almost always going to take clay. I mean, we can get this guy down, right? If you're bored resilient and you're not against Shaman, you go what Stitch. I order? You think so? I feel like Claymate Drugs is almost always just better. I mean, like, yeah, he deals, like, the Doctor deals six damage and the Clay is only three plus one. 
Yeah, more damage. Is it harder to kill though? Than the other thing? Because the other thing Hold has... 3-7 taunt. One second, let me just do the turn. I mean, let's just get the rattle go down. I think I'm gonna do this just so I can clean up, because I'm scared if I leave too many minions, they're gonna do some kind of board buff. Five drop, three drop, one drop? You think so? Five drop, three drop, one drop? Clay Matriarch is... Okay, Clay Matriarch by itself is a 3-7 versus a 6-4. Why is there always, like... Why is there always just a way? There's always just a mother flipping way. Like... Wow, Druid doesn't have silence, I hear. This is play, right? Oof! Oh my god. We might just have to go for the test right now. Yeah, I still get it from Tess, but what Hold is on. in Tess? I'm getting inspiration. Those two and Rattlegore and that's it. It's funny how it doesn't even realize that Rattlegore's in there. I mean, if I do Origami... Yes, chill out. If I do Origami Frog, we get to stall it for what, one turn? I'm getting inspiration. I think I just, like... There's no... I think I just have to do this. Swashburn into Axe? I mean, I, I'm gonna play Swash anyways. For sure. No. Um, I have the board space, right? Again. This will just die to Shadow or Devour, potentially. Oh, so what was I saying? So 5 drop, 3 drop, 1 drop. Clay Matriarch is a 3-7 versus a 6-4, right? And then you have... Inside of the Clay Matriarch, you have a 4-4. Four, four, which, okay, maybe... Maybe a 5 drop on average is slightly better than the 4-4. Four, four from the first Clay. And then you have a 1-1, one, one, which is almost comparison to a 1 drop. Maybe a half of a 1 drop, because it's a 1-1 one, one taunt and not like a 1-3. Or a 2-1. So then, is a 3-drop plus a 1-drop? Yeah, that's what I mean, though. It's like, add the minion too. A 3-drop plus... Is a 3-drop plus a 1-drop worth a... A 1-1 one, one and a 4-4, four, four, almost? Yeah, you weren't thinking about the mini. Who's ready for another round? Okay, we can leave. Yes, don't forget to do your creepy noises at me. Wait for me. <laughs> Weird enthusiastic noises. These do not do shite, so we can get out of here probably. Great. Okay. <laughs> that was the perfect sound for this game. <laughs> yeah, sometimes it's not your day. Yes, Demon, it was. Okay. What are we actually looking for in the early game? We're looking for basically any of these one drops. I might just toss everything. Maybe you can keep Scorpid. Should get rid of them. What, legendaries? FN, you're gonna slowly just get rid of every card in the game. Please say somebody kill it, clipped that. I don't think they did. I, what about this? I guess we don't have, like, that many amazing threes. These would be better, though. I don't think I want to keep Beetle. I want to have four one drops. And, like, worst case, I can still get some teeth or a recon.
forge. I mean, if they do play the 6-5 rush, I guess it doesn't matter either one. Keep your boy play the beetle? Uh, no thank you. I'm just looking at these. Like, the only thing that would really make a difference here is if I get a coin. What should I order? The rest don't matter that much right now. But I don't need this that much against what whatever they're going to play. Let's just see what we get. Banana. Could it be to wins games? It does. So does every single card in this hand. Bananas win games. If you didn't know. You ever realize that this is called bananas instead of just banana? Any idea why? What are... we don't really have mechs too much, right? I think I have one mech. Okay, we have one, two mechs. This is not exactly... let's do, let's do some tentacles. Everybody loves a tentacle. Parslick may have been better, potentially. I do have like a few damage spells. But I feel like Tarsic looks best with a little AoE. Can I be honest? I swear I thought this was a uh, Gangplank Diver. I don't know, he had the same voice line. I didn't even look at the card. I heard Holt Citizen, and I thought it was the Diver. I think they both just have a deep voice. I don't think it would have changed the play, but I really thought that was Gangplank Diver. Even though somehow they're on, they were on four mana. The big banana? I mean, making something bigger doesn't make it plural. I mean, sometimes it does. Anybody have a totem? Yes. What are we going to do with this? Are we actually just going to play a banana? Not Senjin Shield Master? Hmm. I'm just a little unsure what to do here. You could just like play it. It just feels slightly wasted though. The thing is, I'm floating a mana already by not playing this, and I'm giving up a rush card that I could just play Hold later. I'm so I think we just do this. this. Tricky Zerg is a familiar name? Hmm, I've never heard that name. Wait, what? Let's just get out there. Positioning, no idea. How much damage do we have in total here? 7, 10, 14. Turn down that racket. Ooh. Positioning goes on vibes. Yeah, it's a, I'm not sure like how you're really supposed to position nowadays. Against this class at least. I don't know, this shaman is not quite putting up a fight. Well. And maybe they are. 
maybe I shouldn't speak too soon. How much life do they have? We dagger into there. I mean, they're dead, right? Funny how the shaman fell over, but the druid destroyed us. Him, I did slap. It's true. The Lich King. Oh, will serve me in death. I think same as before. I'm not toying around here. I don't want to keep like I. I think I only keep tooth in decks that don't have like barely any twos or ones. Hopefully no cultist. Never drafted a good shaman? How many shamans have you drafted then? Thus, the kicking has commenced. I can't get be, you know, too angry though. I had three of these the other day. Yelling Yodler. Somebody please remind me. I'm going to forget that they have this. I just know. Remind me in the future if I like leave a revenant or something. Do we have any cool combos? Recon. Man, I always thought this thing should be a pirate. Like, come on, look at it. In the water, drop an anchor. Reach for the sky. Okay, this is a death rattle, and they have Yodeler. So basically, we need to kill that thing. Sometimes it's good to have information, you know? What? What? I mean, I think I might just take the two mana thing. I know it could test could buff their minion. I could clear. I mean, the truth is, I could clear without playing this, right? We could just dagger. Double trade dagger, trade this. I mean, the Divine Toll has the most value. Maybe. Maybe. Okay. <laughs> it's funny because if I didn't know that they had Yodler, I may have not traded into that thing and then lost the game the next turn. Sixty nine, what? Uh, shaman drafts for Advent. Okay, no real reason to do this. I hope this fits on the ship. I, I guess this is probably the best. Just, I'm gonna need this later, but. The sandbox will probably be the most helpful at like pressuring them and just hopefully they won't have the AoEs and the answers. Because there's no way we're winning once they get to turn eight. Okay, three Geistos. 
My pain doesn't compare to yeah, I mean, at least they didn't hear a power. I guess I should be happy about that. Yeah, it is, demon. Don't worry, though. You're not missing out on anything. Okay, we'll do this. We dagger. Do that. Play this thing. All's well that sun well. And I mean if I don't want to get this trade, I should trade into there. This goes face. Oh. Okay, I thought I could attack with that. That thing already attacked! Oh. Do we wanna go face? Like I I think I have to. Into cover. But do I? Oh my god. It's so tough because I kinda need to go face, but also we want minions for this. Into but I should probably go face. Like they kill this, we go divine toll. He could yodeler? Yeah, but who cares? I, like let him yodeler. Shout it from the mountain top. I, I I would love for them to yodel that. Spend four mana doing nothing this turn. Remember, Helia sucks. Like, I don't care if they shuffle plagues in the deck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just like it doesn't matter. Like that's I would actually want to leave it on purpose so that they would think Yodel is good. And they just trade it into that anyways. Interesting. Yeah, I, I could play sandbox, but we want to just do this. If we trade first. Thing is, it's not better to trade first, is it? Because, um, well, there's a small, tiny chance I could have lethal with this. Plus, it's just you lose four damage, you gain four damage. The worst, the only reason you would trade is so that uh, it doesn't hit this once and leave it. But I don't care. This is exactly why you don't trade because sometimes it's lethal. Also, you know what we say? Get the F out of here with your triple geist, sir. It's, it's, a little, it's like different than Volcanomancy, which is like the death rattle on the minion. I don't even know. Maybe maybe it should actually be poisonous. Play Yodeler before the two drops down? Yeah. Like, I, I honestly, like, I don't know what their hand was, but getting them to do the Yodeler might have just won us that game. I think. 27 and 64. Thank you very much for the math. Thank you, thank you. This is a combo. I mean... It works. I just have to wait till turn 3. So we need to do something on turn 2. Maybe this. I'm gonna do it. 31%? Yeah. Yeah, it could be that that's why they traded in. Uh, recon? I mean, without having any undeads... Like, I have one undead. Probably just Disciple. Just because it's extremely cheap. The thing is, I won't actually be able to play this until... Next turn is probably Bone Spike in this. This would be on four. So it'd be turn five. Probably still disciple. I'm just looking at the other options, but I think still. Oh, we're back to last game. I don't usually face these guys that much. 
Up with your strong when it hits? Yeah, I just don't really- I have one target in the deck for it. Okay, I mean, I guess we're still doing this, but... It just feels so bad to trade him like that. What was the other option this turn? Nothing. I've just chosen a bad time. He's getting greedy? I mean, it doesn't matter though. All of these are going to be reduced, like what? Reduced by two mana. You get one no mantra in your back. Huh. Yeah, I didn't have another one drop though, right? I think dagger is a little bit too slow. Probably just do three and one, like this and this, but then I have to trade, probably. I don't have to trade. I mean, I, I think I'll be able to get card draw from this. Probably an assassinate. Could have also been ice and touch, whatever it's called. I should maybe go face. Like, they can kill this, but they have to hero power. Like, it's the same thing as last game. If they're going to drop a bunch of Geists, we have to go face. I don't know if this Assassinate's that good, but I don't think those other options were that amazing. Brain Freeze might have been okay. this? No, they can't. I mean, I have no idea. Like, what are they... What's happening next turn? Whatever's happening next turn is some form of two damage AoE. Which doesn't really help us with anything. Okay. I hope this fits on the ship! Okay, zero mana pack, isn't it? Morin. Morin seven gifted a Maroon tier seven. subscription to username. Is your name pronounced M Maroon? I don't think so, right? Isn't it Morin? Thank you for the gifted sub, though, Morin. And thank you for the follow, Muet. Right? Isn't Maroon spelled different? It's Moron? No, no, it's not Moron, come on. Hard draw? I mean, we do have Twisted Pack, but I still feel like we gotta get... Like, we need to find Tess. Kind of? Maybe we could do one Hazy, though. They will freeze my face, but that's totally okay. I'm not going to hit their face and hope the 1-1 one, one hits in. I'd rather have the 1-1 one, one on board and it could always just miss too.
I have things you never knew you wanted. I have but little time. I don't think so, Morin. Like, I feel like the same classes are how they were before. There it is, that's really good. I mean, with only seven mana though... Like, the issue here is... I just have nothing in test, or like, like literally nothing. I have Disciple, I guess. Yeah, that's the thing, that's why I'm thinking I might do Twisted Pack and just hopefully we get some stuff, because... I think I have to play the test next turn. Or else I'm just gonna be way too behind, I'll just die. I think we gotta do it. Hopefully we get some great... <sighs> well, that was great. Just lovely, just lovely. Well, none of those are really playable. Draw a Divine Shield minion, I don't think I have one of those. Oh, I do have Dirigible, but... Is that really what we want to do? I mean, I don't even have hand space for anything else. Wow, golden achievement! Yeah, I mean, it draws this thing. What is the four cost location? It lets you cut. It makes you can choose a damage minion, summon a copy of it that goes dormant. I mean, I could have picked that, but how am I damaging? I guess I could pray the one one hits their eight eight later or something. Was it so bad? I mean, it wasn't so bad. I could have done it. I don't know. It didn't seem that amazing to me though, because I have to find a way to damage their minions. Yeah, if we would have done this on turn 8, we could have played the Wretched Queen at least. Too bad. I don't know, maybe Crimson Expanse was okay enough. It's just that you get the minion and then it's dormant. So... I have but little time. I don't know. I mean, I assassinate this and then they play the 80. Be something from this. Libram. Libram's too expensive. I mean, Doggy Biscuit could just buff their minion. Not even sure. I mean, uh, we can't even do cross stitch with an assassinate. I don't even know what to do. Libram for Tess? I can just pick it. Like, I think these other options are not gonna help. I can rush. I don't know. Libram could maybe be okay if I'm lucky, but like... I think we're just kind of screwed. Um... Like, do I... Maybe I should assassinate this. Like, I know that they have the 8-8, but still, this is a 6-8 that we have to do it. I don't know. I can pray that they play the 8 and like I've played that 8 before and sometimes you don't get the greatest options. Like I once, my best option was to pick a Eulogizer. So I could pray that happens, we play Librum. Tess is smart, plays Librum on my face again. I mean, it's a 10 10 also, so this won't even kill it.
This isn't real, Metal! I have but little time. I mean, may as well. Think he has a big heal? Why? He's a death knight, he might just have a heal. I don't really see any reason to think he has a heal. They just have 10 cards, so... They're gonna have something. I mean, just play the other 10-10. Isn't it obvious? Shouted from the mountain top. Okay then. Um What are these games, dude? I have but little time. I mean, we need Twisting Nether, either from this or this. Uh, how much mana is that? <laughs> Ice Trap. What if I get Threads? I don't know. Maybe Threads does something. It probably doesn't do anything, though. Surely this guy doesn't have any mind control cards in his deck. Yes, I'm in the warrior bracket. I really just... A plated beetle is just not that good. Like, I don't want a plated beetle. Water cannon, maybe. I mean... Probably have zero elementals. Yeah. Boom chakalaka? Yes, yes, yes. Boom chakalakas. I mean, let's just do potions next turn. We could do recon instead, but I would like to develop. Solid. A tango. Very, very solid. Is this not the path? What's up, Tess? Positioning. I mean, I don't even know what's in this game currently. Like Super Collider, I haven't seen that in a while. And then there's 
The other weapon's definitely not in the cleave in the middle thing with spell burst. What's more likely? Five mana guy from this I want to play. Five or... What, less? Five or four mana guy? No, sorry. Five, four, or three mana minion I want to play from this, or a two or less mana spell we want to play from that. I guess, oh wait, I could also play Sandbox with this. That is true-ish. Not exactly true, though. Let's start with this. Interesting. I mean, probably ball hog to just snipe that thing. These others are pretty good too, though. Let's hog him. What am I doing with the mana here? If I play this... I'll go Mike Droppas. That's interesting. I'm not sure Mike Drop or the other one. Because I can't really finale it this turn. May have been better to draw a spell guaranteed. If I do this and this... Huh. I think I'm just gonna chill here. Like, I... Yeah, I could just play that. I don't know. I'm a bit greedy. Let's do this. Yeah, ball hog's pretty good. Easy prick. Well, this is a problem. What do we even have inside of Tess? Nothing, basically. He doesn't do anything. I don't know if I should, like, I... It just depends on whether or not they can kill this thing. I'll do it. Yeah, maybe I should have. I, maybe I should have not taken mic drop and taken the uh, the swindle instead. Can you feel the gift of the sun? Execute. In Smallin? Okay, well, well, well. What are these? I mean, I guess I can live for a little bit here. I, I, I think I'll Divine Shield afterwards. I think it stays in your deck. I'm not sure though, Sliver. I haven't really tested that.
mean, if all I need to get is origami frog, really. I mean, actually, if they're just doing this, we could just play test. Right, test resummons the uh, the four six. Yeah, just test. How much? How many minions is that? Four. We're fine. I'll swing. I know we have mic drop, but we might want to just play this. And if I don't get an extra two damage, it's fine. I mean, they should definitely go face and try to get the bomb lethal. Nice order. Trino was son of Hodir Battlecry, Quest Shaman? Oh my god, Trix. I've seen people do that before, it's kind of cool. Shuffle eight guys in there. They kind of screwed- like, I, I, I don't like what they just did there. I think they should have went for the bomb out. I mean, they can still get double bomb, but... They're not even swinging? Sing along. You know the word. Now I don't even know what's going on. Uh, we do have a weapon. I mean, I could just play this. I don't think I want to be... Um... Like, playing this, because I don't want to draw into that. Which means I don't think we even play the, um... I don't think we even play this. Yeah, I'm not playing that. It just means there's increased odds of me drawing the bomb. Just for me to draw the weapon? Why do I need that weapon? I can just draw it next turn. I know that if I draw a weapon, I won't draw a bomb the turn I draw it, but it means one less card in the deck to potentially be instead of a bomb. Please don't let me die to double bomb. Thank you. Um, surely we're they're dead, right? Surely. I just have to do perfect trading. This and this, and then that's what nine sixteen. This is my response. I think they could have, well, given themselves better outs to win that game. Scabs versus Celeste. Let us celebrate a new beginning. I'm not toying around here. Okay, probably all this goes. He actually dredged to put the bomb at the bottom. Well, not to put the bomb at the bottom, but like, I could dredge and then guarantee I won't be drawing the bomb. If I don't, you know, if I pick something else. But we could have done that for sure. I was actually hoping to get something that would be good with this. Which of these? Picking Thori doesn't even allow us to do the bargain guy on turn four. That would be another reason to pick it. What should I order? I think we just take the lifesteal. Five mana. 
I mean, I could take this because we can play it on turn four. I'm gonna go with this guy. Even if they life sentence it, it still goes in test, right? And just, I mean, mage is not always burning you, but sometimes they burn a bit. Uh, we should do this actually, right? Because I can get... Well, actually, every single card here is a combo activator for this thing. Or we just coin that. We could coin this, it just... Do we really need to? I mean, it's not even really developing much damage. I don't what really want to. I order? Set sail for sale. <laughs> what is yeah, like, this is three damage, this is six damage. And if they ping, well, that's two less mana they have. Let's lighten the moon. Ah. Too bad. Um, there's like no two mana card from this. I'd play over a tooth here, right? So I think we start with it. Oh, well, those are. Cards that exist. This guy's actually kind of cool with this, but we'll take pack, I think. Well, we don't need to prep pack the house, right? So just take blood and. Shaman. The issue here is... I mean, the main issue is Reckless Apprentice. How much are we overloading? We're gonna be down to five, which is kind of okay. I don't know, maybe I just take the risk. If they have the Reckless, it sucks. Because, like, the other play is Blood in the Water, which is not that good. Hold on. I'm inspiration. And there's a chance, I was about to say, there's a chance you can get a rush. What's inside of... I don't think anything is on Rod Den yet. No. After we play this something, but they're gonna kill it now. Flame Strike, right? No! Well, you're in trouble then, sir. There shouldn't be a need for me to trade into these. Right, Raden has one thing inside, so like, even if they AoE or whatever, there's always gonna be board space. It hurts? What hurts? I have a test. Partial trade? What's the point? Why should I partial trade? What can they even do that would be scary? Like, uh, they're like Omega dead. Around 
If I'm gonna keep a two, I think I'd rather keep this than Beetle. And this... Torpid's slightly weird. It's probably okay enough, though. <laughs> yeah, another Druid. There are better cards in this, though, for turn three. Not a lot. There's a few. Hearthstone Arena? That's the... That's the titles, Zinni. This is the place. I uh, play the Beatles, not my boy, actually, Evan. Might be your boy. But he is not mine. Uh, what? I mean, Star is like, okay, I guess. Grafter could be pretty cool, too. Uh, the thing is, those bandages could just heal them or their minions. And I also want to just play something this turn. Zinni, this is for you. This is your pot, please. Stabby, stabby. This is pretty cool on this. I think I still go stabbing. Surely? Because I'm, I'm going to swing the turn I play this. Ban Why would the bandages heal him? I'm pretty sure bandages say restore three health. So... Hold if you on. play it with Tess, Tess will just randomly play it, so it could heal them. So... Yeah, I think I still go stab. Yeah, I mean from Tess. I mean, it doesn't really matter, because I think either way I wanted to play a minion that turn. Because if I take the bandage guy... I don't know what's going on tonight. I mean, even with all this luck, we're still at five wins, but... What the hell? The culprit was not tidy. Outskilled, sir. I know Zenus. Zenus. Okay, let's just hope we get good enough RNG to get a deadly uh, shot here. Thank you. And I'll go hazy for our little Tessie. Flame Leviathan. Okay, Flame Leviathan is interesting. This card always used to scare me. Just randomly blows up the board for two of Okay, I mean... Wow, there's a lot of things that you can do this turn. I think we go with this and this, though. Any other lovely options here? I don't know, this just seems lo like really good. Because then we could just even just play Tess. Like, Tess has what, Star Scryer and that? That's great tempo. A 6-6, six, six, a 7-7 seven, seven rush, and a 3-1 draw spell. Seems good. Win them all. See it, Druid. Scabs versus the Lich King. Oh, will serve me in death. I'm not toying around here. Okay. Will we finally keep the beetle this time? Now that I have a one drop. Yeah, I could still toss it. I think I will keep it. I don't know about the bargain guy. Because I'm probably only going to be able to play him at best on turn 4. Ooh. Six, six, seven, seven with the Rush. Almost as good as the Shaman card. Beetle made the cut? Yeah, this one time. If I keep a bunny, I gotta keep a beetle. Oh, I didn't keep the bunny. 
What's up, yo? Thank you for the good luck. That's cool. I could play that next turn if we play this, but just no one, not even me. I mean, there is what what's the reason to trade here? I don't think I trade. Like there there is a reason, but it's like a very weird one, and I don't think it's very... Like, they would have to trade here and find some 2 damage for this. Because if it's 3 damage, they would just hit the 3-3 three, three anyways. It would have to be like... I was gonna say this card, but even this is like... Okay. I think I'm slightly fine with that. I could try this. If I don't do this thing now, we won't have anything for the bargain next turn, but unless I draw it. That's fine. I hope this fits on the ship. Double cross! Double cross! Yeah, I mean this was a reason to trade, but then they just hold this and probably play something else. And then they have the AoE later, so whatever, let him have it. No shaman under six wins? No, I face shamans. Just not in this run. Did we not face a shaman yet? I don't even remember. The fallen will serve. Dalkum. Easy. Could be Warlock to 7? Could be me? You always gotta have a little bit of poop though. You like to be lucky? Poop can be good. Just don't face the nuts. Damage, damage, damage. Uh, Frost Strike? What are you doing? Uh. Holy moly. So that's, uh, what, 9, 13? Still not really enough to just chuck it face all the time. Like, I'll do this, but I'm not gonna just throw a rock. Like, if I go face now, they go to 12, and we have. N? Close. But I don't want to like chuck this face and then they just play no muncher and then I cry. Stand the cold. You cry every time? That's unfortunate. Stalactite. Again, if I somehow manage to keep this, so if I do pop dagger face, they go to 16, and then we have math, 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 we have 13. Which is not really enough to close it. So I'm not gonna do that. Let's break our dagger for no reason.
I want to get a nice hero card from this. That is slightly problematic. Yeah, they are called undies. Okay, D file. I think we want to play all the smaller ones. Okay. D's file. Okay, I guess I do this. What should I order? There's no lethal, right? Nine? Oh, there is actually, isn't there? Oh. Crimson Shack just subscribed with Prime. These files. Well, D's file his face? I actually rocked his face instead. Thank you so much for the six months, Crimson. Scabs versus Thrall. For Doomhammer. I'm not toying around here. Oh, it is shaman time. Howdy. I mean, water cannon's great, but I think I want to find another three, and I don't want to potentially just draw two water cannons. Howdy, twelve. Howdy ho? Wait, is that my name? Yes, howdy ho. I guess we bone spike, huh? Uh, yes. That would be nice. Uh, no, Crimson, no. It's actually an interesting combo you can do. Because they transform so they don't. You don't lose them. Huh. You know... We could do recon this, then that. I, I kind of just want to get the minion on the board, though, honestly. Yeah. Like, I think we just do this, then this on four, and then this on five. Like, the other options, I play recon, develop only a 1-1 one -one this turn. Why? I get two three threes, which is great to get a turn earlier, but I also kind of want to dredge instead. Or, okay, now we could just do this instead. And, uh, I don't think we trade. It's our good friend, the cow, man. They could have potentially traded into the 1 2 here instead. Dragons? We have zero dragons. I almost just want to pick this to play this turn, but. I guess we could do Shaky for next. Might as well be 4, 5, 6. I might not have a minion though. I mean, the best would be if I could buff this thing, but whatever. Trust no one. No, no, no. I mean, if I don't trade, they're gonna value trade, then I want to dagger it. Ugh, 
I kind of hate it. There's just, there's so many punishes, right? Like, AoE, and then they value trade, and then I have to trade back. I hope this fits on the ship. Oh, wow. Um, I mean, at this point, with an Eviscerate as well, I think we go Water Cannon. Unfortunately, Shaky will have no target. I don't think I care though. <laughs> no. Like, I don't know, it's plus two. I guess I could hold this. Four, five, six, seven. I mean, it's literally just a one one. I don't know. Yeah, it would be a three three taunt. Just the question is, is a 1-1 one, one good enough? And they're gonna freeze it here. Because I'm potentially gonna miss a damage because of this. How much do we have? 8, 14? Wow, so if I would've played this, it would've been 15. Um, which kind of means I should have done it. Um, I have to deal with the board though. I can't just like go all face and then lose to any healing in the game. I think I will swing face though. Pull her up. I think now I'll play it though because we'll just block this thing. What is in Tess? Probably nothing, and nothing. Fine. What are these? Amulet of Undying, which has like nothing in it. It has some stuff actually, it doesn't have Nesting Golem. Hipsy Summon, that's way too slow, I'm not even gonna think about that. We should actually just check if we have Lethal. Which Hold I do on. Not. I'm getting inspiration. Yeah, we can do Joe Cannonball. I'll try to buff the Jotun. Wait, what? Oh, it buffed Pipsy. That sucks. Our work now shapes life as we know it. Mage is dead. Rest in peace, mage. Is this the target enemies? I believe it does, right? No. Yeah, it does. Each turn at enemies. Unfortunately, that frostbolt might just smash my face. Right, frostbolt is still. It's not just enemies, right? Um. I haven't played this card in so long. Yeah, to a character. <laughs> We've created a temporal anomaly. Uh, why not clear his board? Uh, because if you clear the board, you're not dealing damage to the face, AP. And, um... Being safe in Hearthstone is not how you win games. Uh, I would just, I, if I had to say it in like one sentence, being safe, I don't know, being safe is not like in, in real life. It's not like being safe is always good. I mean, even in life, being safe is not the best, but. Someone, someone give me a good line. Like, safety is something, something. Like, being safe will make you feel good, but you'll end up losing the game more often. 
Yeah, yeah, no problem, AP. I'm trying to figure out the best way to explain it, though. Okay, you guys suck at coming up with ideas for that. Okay, I... I don't think Plagiarizer on 3 is that good. We could do this. This... I think it's a pretty solid card on 3. Um... Okay, I'm done to do this. Oh, that's a good one, Demon. Sometimes trying too hard to avoid risk is a risk. Exactly. Exactly. See, so guys, Demon is what? Smart? I guess. Of course you say that, Eric. So playing this... There is a reason to play this. I think I will. It saves me two health. I don't want to die. Oh, my God. Well, I guess I'll do that then. We'll just dagger on two. Plated Beetle? Plated Beetle is not here anymore. I usually hate opening this, but I think it makes sense if we just have a dagger here. Yeah, things are very different AP from uh, Old Gods. I actually started playing in Old Gods too, so I understand like your mindset. Nowadays, the amount of crazy things you can do or just, it's just nuts. Like, all you need to do is give a powerful class one turn and they can completely like uh, change, like, oh, how do you say, flip the tables or whatever. So like, it's very good to try to end the game fast if you know your deck is not powerful enough. Okay. Um, see, like here, I think the Dark Moon is actually the better card. Better than Scorpid. Because Scorpid just dies to all of the three damage cards. Uh, yes, exactly, Boo. Exactly. Well, that's unfortunate. Okay, pretty good. That's definitely a good draw. I mean, no matter what here, I'm picking this. It's just a question of if we play it this turn or not. I mean, I'm definitely picking a demon because the other cards were terrible. I don't know if we rip it though. I, I might just do it. Like, it's probably my best chance at coming back. I'm gonna be behind, right? They have a two, three divine shield and then five mana next turn, I believe. They're not overloaded. So. I'm getting inspiration. Yeah, I think I just rip it. Job's done. Pretty much turned out how I thought it would. A bunch of crap. Nature waits for no I'll take it though. There was a chance that we could high roll. Like uh, I, maybe the the potion was gonna help me there, but it's pretty good, is it? I mean, we have this synergy. Yay! Attack your hero. By the way, if you attack your hero with this, and you have a dagger, he'll just get damage. Get an excavate? Yes, I mean, excavate is lovely, but... We actually get a fell spell! Rook is actually not gonna be terrible because I got this, DZ. Don't have a dagger? Yeah, I mean, it's not bad, like, it just takes one damage. What were you saying about having an excavate demon? I can't quite hear you over the uh, non-existence of my excavate. We ate his hex? Yeah. Okay. I mean, I need to kill this, unfortunately. Oh my 
a melomania with all the little shit. With a cherry on top. Oh. I think we are dead. We're dead, we're done. I mean, next turn they have an 8 8 rush with an 8 8. So, shall we say goodbye to you guys? And they're gonna clear this. Like, have they even value trade this thing? Wow, there's Tess. But, I mean, Tess is lovely. Tess is lovely. I, I think we play this first, though. Okay, yeah, we'll do Tess next turn. Smack me in the face! Yeah, yeah, we'll play this first. We need a bunch of minions. Double Melomania recently? Usually that's a bit too much, but... Maybe if you're out of cards. Wait, you're not playing the eight? What? Wait, 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 wait. You're not going to play an 8-8 eight, eight rush with another 8-8? Eight, eight? What are you doing? This is always a way you can win, you know? Why would you not play an 8-8? Eight, eight? Okay. How about instead of 16-16 16, 16 stats, I'll develop... What? Nothing? It only did six damage, yes. But I had a shaman pwn do this as well, he had two of them in hand. I maybe they're setting up like wish upon a star. I mean I'm kinda dead, but What's in Tess? Like, are we just still dead? I feel like we're still dead, but it's going to transform my hand again, by the way. Recon fell? No, I think we got to just get out there. He called the Gambas? What are these? What are these things? All Warlock and now all... Okay, it's not all Demon. Under. It's pretty beefy board. And they're not going to play the 8-8s again? They're probably trying to look for lethal. Yeah, the Shaman tried to agree the 8-8 with double battle cry? Yeah. X. J. Light. Yeah, I became Demon Hunter. Easy. Oh, uh, they got Lightning Storm. After- Oh, okay, okay, okay. Sure, I'll take that. You're dead, sir. You're just dead. What the hell was this game? I mean, they lost. It's their fault. Like, they lost because they didn't play the 8-8. Right, all they need to do is play the 8-8, and then I just lose the next turn. Scabs versus Illidan. Dead men tell no tales. One thing we can say, though. Always rip the Shadow Council. Okay, I mean, these are great fours, but let's look for a 1 and a 3. He wanted to dump his hand? I don't know, something weird was going on. You got two Tiny Fins, Shadow? Yeah, I mean... Tiny Fins is... If you know how to use Tiny Fin, then... It's amazing. I mean, it's also amazing if you don't know how to use it. Great match? Yeah, it was a good match. I... Each I sometimes don't feel so good about them, because it's just like... Well, I won because the opponent was not playing well. But, I'll take it. At least we did some nice combos. Works pretty cool with Flame Tongue. It's two extra attack. Wait, so if you play it next to Flame Tongue, the turn 
it immediately buffs the other one. I guess that makes sense, right? Yeah. Okay, Scorpid or Plagiarizer. I mean, I think we go Plagiarizer, like, a 9 win, um... A 9-1 Demon Hunter is going to have some good cards, and very often there's some good tempo cards too. Plus, the Scorpid kind of gets better later. Is there going to be like a 4-mana card I can't kill? Maybe. Let's do it. Sing along. You know the word. What was I saying about tempo cards? Could we... I think I go face. Like, what's... The punish is what? They do... Shoot the outside with whatever that guy's name is. Like, the main punish is supposed to be shoot the left and right most minions with hero power, but then we just play darks, like the Skulker, which we want to play anyways. So I don't really think that's a punish. I mean, it's not actually, because he would have just shot the fourth. Yeah, we gotta just keep in mind, right? This, oh my god, that might also be wolves, but this is, this is wolves. Remind me, please. I guess technically this is, is it the punish. Not really. No. Okay. Perfect draw. Yeah, Wolf is decent with pests. I don't think we're gonna get to outcast it though. Probably. Like it's gonna take so long. We have to get through all of this. Maybe though with this, this will dump stuff fast. Argus, bless us with your strength! Okay, Skulker time. I mean, the truth is, I don't need to do the Skulker now. Right? We could just develop these two instead. We could just do Skulker after they pop it. Worse, the only bad thing here is it might... The one one might trade in here. That's fine. This treasure ain't fit for our pirates. I mean, those suck. I think we take SI. Those are not what we want. At least it's tradable. <laughs> what is Face, please. Thank you. Wolf unplayable? I mean, what if this is a wolf? <laughs> what if this is a wolf? <laughs> right in the face. What's happening here? I slightly disagree with that play because I think you should, um, what do you call it? I think you should kill this because if I get through, I deal a bunch of damage. No lethal, right? Is there lovely DID? I'm just looking if there's like some weird lethal with shooting your own trap mechanic. He's dead? Well, not on board, right? This is only seven. No, Bone doesn't go face. Well, if if it's gonna be lethal, let's start with this. Now this is treasure. If there's gonna be lethal, it's gonna be like this. What lurks in the It's not though, right? Here. I don't have the mana to do the rest. Correct? No. Yeah, we just didn't have the mana for it. Pick for me! Pick for me! Great. 
Yeah, we didn't have it. Um, sure though. I mean, I should have tradable this. Should have chosen these, but I think we're fine. If they do cycle of hatred, they just die to sludge. They're gonna need the the wolf, I guess. Yeah, you're dead. Yeah, we got the two losses because the big minions got stolen. I'm not gonna keep Skull. I think I will keep both of these though. Hmm. I don't know about you guys, but I, I consider Dirigible like pretty good on turn three, I think. It's not easy to deal with that Divine Shield, and if you don't, it gets to kill a lot of things. As long as it's not a 3 4. Ooh, Reborn would be great on this. But yeah, we got the two losses because of Sylvanas and Reska. Yeah, me have that for you. <laughs> okay, I mean, pretty easy to read. They don't have like a two drop they want to play here. Actually, no, actually not guaranteed. They could have a two drop here, but they want to get a corpse for Neophyte. I was about to say that. So no guarantee on that. How many buffs did they get? Four? And so scary if they have an AoE. What should I order? I think I'm still going for like double trade that seems so bad. It's also so much damage to miss. If they have remorse this winter, I mean they have to top deck remorse this winter because their whole hand is just minions. The three men undead? Yeah, but they would have to finale it, which is it's, it's slightly hard to do there. Because if they had a one drop, they may have already played it on turn one, right? They passed turn one. Um, I really want to corrupt this so we can reborn on a what should rush I corrupt board? minion. Talking about Howling Blast? Howling Blast wouldn't have been as bad though, right? It doesn't clear everything. But yeah, if you're talking about the minion, you have to finale. Your souls belong to I'm okay, I guess. I guess that's happening. Um interesting. You know, I think I'm gonna do. I know I could play Sandbox, but like. Ah, oh, man. It's either I do Sandbox this, swing the weapon into this, or, which I think is just better, is this play. Dirigible, give it the Reborn, and Banana. And then I don't take any damage. I mean, the damage doesn't matter, but we get to push four face like this. And then this guy having Reborn is so good. It was minions since he discovered undeads. Oh, you mean from that? That could be, yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, smash him hard. I'm gonna try. I could take this trade so he can push more damage, but. I don't think I want to do that. I think I still want to try to face. Nah, I think I'm still going to try to control the board a little bit. Oh, wow. 
Give your opponent a coin. Remember, it's Death Knight. All they need is just like one healing thing, and then it was a bad idea to go face. And they're at 10 wins, so I don't really want to mess with that. Right, like, even imagine they do threads and then they play clergy. You gonna play threads? They might still be playing threads here. Face was lethal if there was no taunt. Um, It wasn't though, what do you mean? Was it? No. They went to three now because I had a banana. And I still would have to put one damage into the taunt, so no, it wasn't. For the skies. I, I thought it was. Somebody didn't calculate that. Most intriguing. Yeah, they didn't realize that this thing was going to stay alive. Scabs versus Reno. Time to get cooking. I'm not toying around here. Oh, look, it's El Gringo. Seems like a solid hand to keep. It's time to play against Cooking Mage. Unfortunately, I don't think our deck really deals with uh, Grand Finale, so let's kill him fast. I'm kind of... I, I'm quite happy with the pick we made with uh, Tram Mechanic over Eviscerate in the draft. Happy chow time, I think it really worked out. Feeling scrappy today? Feeling scrappy? Oh, yeah. Do not play the 2-2 Elemental. Do not. Nope. It's so hard to beat that start. The 2-2 into the 7-4. I'm almost tempted to coin Scorpid. But... It might go wrong. Because... Like, if they would just play a minion, I could sludge it. And you can sometimes find stuff from this. In hindsight, I can extract that not picking triple sevens over Scorpio was the right choice. Maybe, maybe. That's... I don't know. I didn't get to see all of it. Like, I, I don't know what happened in all the games. But, potentially... I'm gonna go Wicked Stab. I don't know, like... We're not pushing enough damage, but... Wicked Stab is really good. I know Shell Game for Tess, but like... I wanna try to just like get minions out. I, I think I need to kill them fast. Again, Mage, Grand Finale, like... Uh, Frost Lich, Jaina, we don't wanna stick around for those. And shell game's so slow. Two mana and then you have to hope you high roll it. Or at least don't low roll too much. Uh oh. Is it excavate mage? I mean, uh, yeah, I guess it has to be Tess. And it doesn't have to be Tess, but... Sure. Like, because I have the Twisted Pack, great. But, like, I don't even think I would... I would maybe not pick Tess if we didn't have this in hand.
Twisted Pack gives you five cards from other classes. No, it's not terrible, Demon. We don't really have better things to do anyways. Just the issue with taking tests is I'm not going to play this for a while. Like, Twisted Pack is going to suck until I get some more mana. Don't kill it, please. Okay, at least. Load enough tests. Yeah, I taste uh, Tess is gonna take a while to set up. Hopefully, we get a recon or something. Tooth could be good here. Rune door, bolt. Okay. Sure. Rune door would be a lot better. We just we push like no damage. Hopefully, they can't set up the ground finale. Perfect. Okay, a little less perfect. Oh my god. I guess gift. What the hell? Absolute doo doo. Okay, bargain bin is slightly okay. Hey, demon, don't laugh at me. I just, I don't like this. If you don't have like insane tempo, you're just waiting. Like if at 11 wins, you're waiting for them to do some busted combo. Which is not good, right? Like it could be anything. It could be Cadgar or Jaina or the grand finale or like not puzzle box or like discovered rune. Like my deck is just too fair to deal with any of that. It might even be the... Elusive Magician guy. Oh, man, I, that animation is lovely. Okay, I guess we can do this. Too fair? Yeah, but my deck is not busted, right? Like... We also shouldn't really be here. We faced well, a couple of people who didn't play well. What? Banana. So the one thing here, this is happening. Yeah, I think I will keep the mini. Like, I could mini and wicked stab, but that's a bit too much. Yeah, well, I think we gotta do this pack thing, like, next turn. Don't use your head. This is basically what I was saying. Eventually, they're gonna whip out their lovely legendary or whatever it is, and we'll be in trouble. Coin and banana. I think I want to keep the coin in case we need it for the pack, though. Pop kick blood. That would be nice. We're actually not going to really have the full hand space. Unless I get a coin. Arcane Intellect's quite good for them here. I don't know. That's not good for us, though, Demon. I, I want them to do some other stuff. I think we're going. I think so. In pack, we trust. Yeah, I think we go. Pack me up, baby. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, that's not the greatest, though. That is good this turn, it's just next turn is a thing. Meh? Yeah, not great. Yeah, hammer's good. I think we're always gonna do the hammer. Now this is treasure. So let's just start with it. Too bad I can't just angling rod him out of here, but... Sizzle. 
I'll put this in. I know it's not good for tests, but we need to, like, kill this guy. Um... Yeah, I'm gonna discover at the end here. <laughs> Thessarian? I guess. Thessarian's pretty good. Order lull. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I wasn't gonna play Thessarian anyways. So the issue with Hammer, though, is I don't actually get the 6-6, six, six, right? Because, uh, it says battle cry. Well, but we get a weapon. So that's nice. You're living too? Wishing you luck, bed. Okay. Just don't cast like Blizzard. Okay, sure. If it's barrier, we definitely don't have lethal. If it's counter spell, we don't have it either, right? I have 18. The Sarian Tess? What's inside a Tess? What should I order? Do we know it's secret? No, I, we can test though with this. It's counter spell then. Again, Tess has. Those three? I am slightly tempted to just do this. Hold I could on. die though if Get I do that. I mean, I heal for three. I might take Shadow Blast on my face though. Yeah, Tess could really go wrong. I think I'm gonna go with this then. It's like a pretty good mid-ground. I'll take this. I'm not 100% sure. Maybe I should just rip the test that turn. And just pray. It's just like they have 16 damage. Like, even if it doesn't hit the 6-6 six, six and it hits an 8-8, eight, eight, but then I don't kill the 8-8. Eight, eight. I'm at 22 and they need, what? Um, 6 damage? So they just clear this with something and fireball my face. Mm, no wear and tear of any kind. A lot of praying? Yeah. I wish we could have played the Void Shard instead of the, uh, the Shadow Blast that turn. Unfortunately, but whatever. We just couldn't because they had a 5-5, five, five, not a 4-4. Four, four. I wonder, are they gonna go, there's no way they go face. They cannot afford to. Don't give them Canary, please. Give them, I don't know, Stalactite or something. Uh, this is never lethal, because if it's counter, this gets countered. May as well just check for this. Unless... Do I may as well check for it? Yes, because I have no more spells I could draw from... Because I do. I will get a card draw this turn. Okay, three damage. And we could do a hazy or a card draw. I mean, I'm not going to play Tess now, now that I got the three damage. Hazy or card draw? I think I'll go Hazy. Card draw is interesting too, but... Uh, yeah, it's close to lethal, but it's barrier now, so... There's that issue. Six damage is not lethal, because I know it's barrier 100%.
Okay, I'm not even 100% sure if I should go face here, because they could get another barrier. I don't think we do this on a 2-2. Two -two. Also, is Crimson taking up too much board space? No, we're only summoning one minion. I don't know, we're not in a good spot. Now watch as I pull, or no. Come on, keck them. Keck them! Oh, that is not kicking. Okay. It's not looking too good for us. If I get... I have no more spells, unfortunately, right? It would be so cool if I could I could copy this, but the, my only spell is at the bottom of the deck, unless we get it from Swash or Scorpion. Yeah, we have Tooth at the bottom, though. Uh, they're setting up another grand finale. Uh, thank you for the Prime, Elf. Thank you so much, dude. Oh, crap. Um, again, board space. It summons two things on the board. So we're fine with that. Test time? Yeah, I'm just checking what we're doing. Like, probably Skulker. It is gonna heal the minions, but... Three things? It's two things, right? The hammer doesn't do anything, so it's two things. Bump your wobble. Yeah, I'll bump the woman. I'll bump the woman. I think we copy Thessarian as well. I mean, Thessarian could die, so I should. I'm going face. And we'll do this. There, minion, please. Thank you. Okay, I guess. Grand finale, and I don't know, what's a nine mana spell that doesn't kick us? That's interesting. They have armor for Oh, they do have the armor freezer, that's true, yeah. They got it from the the shooty shooty thing. Don't tell them though, they're gonna forget. Come on, play grand finale. Ah, that's too bad. Yeah, Sleet Sleet is a problem. And we have no... No healing. It's so funny, we lost the healing to the other. To them winning the, the Joust or whatever you want to call it. Well, we have 13 damage though. But there's no way to do 7. Thessarian? Not these. Anything but those! Yeah, I think we're dead. Okay. I mean, Swash will save us. Come on, Swashy! Oh, come on, you idiot! Okay, we're dead. Culinary school? Culinary school? I mean, this would be cool if I could push enough damage.
Okay. Behind you. That could be good. I mean, it's not, though. They just have lethal with these. The only way that's good is if they're stupid and they leave the 2-4 alive. I'll take the loss. This doesn't summon anything. What do I do with all these cards? GG. That was a nice run though. Kinda close-ish at the end. Come on! Kick him, kick him, kick him! Two mana discard their hand! Discard, discard! <laughs> yeah, six and two. Was it six and two to eleven two? Yeah, we're dead. GG. I mean, they're making a mistake. If they just trade, they always win. This could make them lose. But, uh, sure, sure. <laughs> DG, interesting deck. Did Tess do anything? Tess was like... Tess was okay in one or two of those games, right? They're styling? They did style on me. YouTube! See you guys later. Hope you enjoyed this 11. Winner.